hi friends today we are going to discuss about vpn so what is vpn vpn means virtual private networking okay so uh, we will discuss about the vpn definition and the its working so what is vpn vpn allows computers or the networks to connect to each other over the internet securely so basically what vpn does it allows computers or the networks to connect to each other over the internet securely we will take one example suppose you are sitting inside your home okay and there is one server or the machine which is located inside your office okay this is the required server which you want to access and you are using your laptop which is inside your home and what is the requirement you want to connect this server from your home so for this you will use vpn so you will connect to the vpn to access that particular server so basically vpn is a client server architecture means in the client server architecture there is some systems are acting as a vpn client and some systems acting as a vpn server okay so here in this example your laptop is acting as a vpn client and this remote server which is located inside your office is acting as vpn server okay this is a vpn client and this is a vpn server okay so how it works or how the data is transferred we will discuss it okay so after connecting to the vpn okay one tunnel gets formed between two end points for example this is your home and this is your we will clear it and we will take the example as discussed we will take the same example you are at your home and this is the office okay so once you are connected to the vpn tunnel gets created between both the endpoints so what is a tunnel tunnel gets created so tunnel is nothing but the logical or the virtual pipe pipe or the way through which your information is passed means this tunnel your traffic traffic or the information will get passed from one point to another so how this tunnel is created there is something called tunneling protocol which set ups the tunnel how the tunnel is created due to the tunneling protocol okay so if you go back again what we have seen in the definition that a uh, vpn allows computer or the networks to connect to each other over the internet securely so how that security is maintained we will discuss it actually through this tunnel the data encrypted data is transferred encrypted so if for example there is one word file which you are going to transfer okay so before transferring the file that file will get converted into the encrypted format and that encrypted data is going to transfer from this tunnel so how that encryption happens there are some certain encryption protocols are used which does the encryption and uh, why encryption suppose you are transferring the data through this tunnel and which is not encrypted and here is a hacker which is hacker okay which is trying to penetrate this tunnel okay if he successfully penetrate the tunnel he can access that data that word file which you are trying to transfer so if we encrypt that file or the data and uh, hacker penetrate the tunnel he will get the encrypted data which is not easily which he cannot easily decrypt it 
so security is maintained so security is maintained in order to maintain that privacy okay that encryption is done and there are several protocols we will discuss it in the next videos that which protocols are used which does the encryption okay so what we have seen we have seen that uh, vpn is a client server architecture and uh, in which one uh, server is one point is acting as a vpn server and the destination which you want to access are acting as a vpn servers okay and uh, after connecting to vpn tunnel gets created between both the endpoints and through which the encrypted data is transferred and due to that encrypted data the security is maintained okay so what are the requirements of the vpn for connection for vpn connection we will discuss it so we will take it the same example again this is your home where your laptop is you are using your laptop and this is your office okay where server is located which you want to access so to connect to the vpn the appropriate vpn client or the software needs to be installed on your laptop which is acting as vpn client here okay the software needs to be installed through which you will connect to the vpn now why i am using the appropriate we will discuss it in some time okay so once vpn is installed on your laptop okay so for connection you will require the public ip address of the remote site so now we are not going to discuss what is public ip address and private ip address you know it very well so for example vpn site ip address of the remote office is 20.20.20.20 so you will put this ip address in your vpn your vpn uh, software and it will ask for the credential okay means what happens you will turn on the vpn client on your laptop or the computer then we, you will provide this public ip address of the remote site which is a unique which is a unique and you will provide that vpn ip in your vpn client okay and then you will put the credential now how you will get the credential this credential are provided by this vpn client or customer only if it is your own office then you will use your ad credential depends on the configuration at the remote site okay so after putting the credential your request will go over the internet to the required vpn destination means after putting the credential your request will go to the destination over the internet for example this is a internet cloud okay your request will go to the remote site now if you have the right credential you will will be allowed okay if you don't have the credential or the you put the wrong credential you cannot connect to the remote network so this is a basic system how vpn communication happens now something you should know understand is that there are lots of vpn software are available according to the compatibility you have to install the proper vpn proper vpn software on your laptop or the machine from where you are going to connect to the vpn okay so we will discuss it again as discussed this is your home okay where your laptop is located and this is the server which is located inside your office okay so what we have discussed their appropriate vpn client or software needs to be installed which is depends on the vpn configuration at this remote office it depends on that which firewall they are using and how the vpn configuration is done at the remote site for example if they are having the cisco asa so the compatible software will the cisco any connect if they are using the checkpoint firewall then there are certain softwares like secure remote endpoint or the secure mobile or checkpoint mobile is the compatible software okay so the important thing that needs to be understand is that 
whatever VPN server you are using you have to use the VPN client that will work with it okay so this is not necessary that the checkpoint VPN will connect through Cisco any connect okay so we need to take care of it for the proper connection the compatible software should be installed on your laptop okay so for example now we will take example that you have the proper client installed on your laptop for example here Cisco AC is there and uh, this is a VPN or client based VPN and you have the proper Cisco Anycon is installed and you are able to connect to the VPN so what will happen once you are connected to the VPN now physically your laptop is inside your home but after connecting the VPN logically or the virtually your machine gets connected inside this network so how it happens once you are connected to the VPN your machine will logically present inside this network so try to understand this once you are connected to the VPN one virtual adapter gets created on your machine on your laptop and for that virtual adapter one IP address will get assigned which belongs to this network or the office network okay so once you are connected to the VPN one virtual adapter gets installed on your laptop and that laptop gets assigned one private IP address which belongs to this office means for example when you will your request will go through the tunnel to this destination that request will go by considering that source IP address which gets after connecting to the VPN okay so you will your laptop will get one uh, your laptop will get one IP address or one private IP address which belongs to the remote office and through that connection you can access the remote servers or the machines through that tunnel which is created after the VPN connection so in this way the VPN works and data is transfer if you have any question or the queries please let do let us know or you can comment below your question we will try to figure out your queries thanks for watching